getting started. The fluorescent tracer, or FT technique, is a way to mimic pesticide contamination. This non-toxic chemical is used to mark areas where pesticides may come in contact with skin, clothing, and surfaces. Like some pesticides, fluorescent tracers are invisible and cannot be seen when mixed, diluted, and applied under normal lighting. Unlike pesticides, they glow under a special lamp called a black light. This glow can show potential areas of contamination. Patterns of contamination are clues that show how pesticide exposures may occur. Was there a tear in the personal protective equipment? Did a splash occur? Using the FT technique will provide immediate visual feedback and a clear picture of contamination routes. This DVD was designed to complement the fluorescent tracer manual and kit. It will provide useful instructions to expand pesticide handler training. Please note that the manual is divided into two parts. Part one provides step-by-step -step examples of demonstrations, activities, and techniques. Part two provides helpful hints and information on obtaining supplies. You may find it useful to read Getting Started with Fluorescent Tracers. It may also be helpful to familiarize yourself with the contents of the kit. Additional copies of the manual in Spanish or English can be downloaded from the Panache Center's website. Health and Safety When using the FT technique, be sure to have the following safety materials on hand. Chemical protective gloves, safety glasses, the material safety data sheet for the tracers, and rubbing alcohol if used. Most manufacturers include material safety data sheets, MSDS, online. Black lights. Black lights emit a type of ultraviolet light called long wave UVA. The UVA used in the fluorescent tracer technique is not harmful but extended exposure may irritate eyes and accelerate aging. These responses are unlikely to happen during the following brief demonstrations. Nevertheless, you should always be cautious. Do not hold the black light within six inches of anyone's eyes and do not look directly at the bulb. Doing so may cause eye discomfort. Demonstration volunteers should wear protective UVA safety glasses. Fluorescent tracers. Fluorescent tracers are commonly used as whitening agents in laundry detergents. Tracer contains properties that glow in the dark by absorbing ultraviolet rays and reflecting bright, visible light. It is considered safe to handle, but it's always a good practice to handle chemicals with gloves. To be safe, never spray any of the tracer solutions directly onto the face. Rubbing alcohol or isopropanol is used in some tracer recipes. It can cause skin irritation and splashes to the eyes may cause eye damage. Always wear chemical safety goggles when handling isopropanol and do not spray in an enclosed area. Check the material safety data sheet and health and safety section of the manual for more information before using isopropanol. Helpful hints. Tracers and tracer solutions will show varying levels of brightness under different levels of light and on different material. Before training begins, turn off the lights and test visibility of the tracer mixture with a black light. If you want a brighter, more visible glow, use a stronger black light or add more tracer to the recipe. It is important to test recipes and materials in advance. Have spare batteries and extension cords when needed. Use dark clothing whenever possible as it makes the tracer easier to see and be aware that tracer will not show on red fabric. Be creative when setting up a dark area. Find a location convenient to your demonstration area and remove all trip hazards. The space should be large enough for participants to stand comfortably and see clearly. Use dark fabric to cover openings and bright objects in the room. If the space is too bright, you can ask participants to huddle close together to create an even darker area with their bodies. If it is still not dark enough, you might consider training at night. Teaching small groups is recommended. Working with fewer people gives each participant an opportunity to view results in the dark. These demonstrations lend truth to the adage, 
Seeing is believing.